Certainly, Hoboken has been in the news in recent days, with allegations from Mayor Don Zimmer levied against Governor Chris Christie. How these allegations, and ultimately the investigation, will impact Hoboken remains to be seen. But City Councilwoman Mason had a lot to say about what's going on, and ultimately what she hopes to have as an outcome once the entire investigation has been completed. I had requested that the mayor come to the City Council to express her views as to what happened recently and to tell the residents of Hoboken her perspective directly because she has yet to address us um, as a community. Uh, unfortunately, she declined that, uh, claiming that the U.S. Attorney had told her that she shouldn't come. However, um, you know, we were hoping that she would come and definitely talk to us. I heard them on Saturday, I'm sure much like our community here, um, I was shocked and surprised and concerned because if those allegations are true, those are significant issues and obviously deserve to be investigated and that's an issue unto itself. The other piece of it is is that unfortunately between Saturday after listening from Saturday and Sunday and Monday as this story progressed, there have been changes in the perspective of that story. First, it was just that the governor was there and it really wasn't uh, involved in the actual, anything related to development or anything like that. And to the point where the governor was definitely involved, sent the message that um, our lieutenant governor was the one that brought the message. And then there was also a commissioner that was involved somewhere along the line. So the story has progressively gotten um, more definite and more expansive in terms of those involved. Um, I think what it does um, is not about believability or not right now. I think there are more questions than there are answers um, that our community deserves the right to know what's going on, what actually transpired. The city council is the oversight body for the city and it has an obligation to ask those questions on behalf of the community. And especially after last night's council meeting where the mayor at the last minute put on the agenda a request for a criminal attorney to represent her and at the same time um, in that meeting um, under this attorney that they would also be, uh, interestingly enough, reviewing uh, public access uh, requests um, by those same criminal attorneys. And uh, so there's some question as to why the need for that. When we had the FBI here, we didn't have criminal attorneys representing anybody, but here um, we do. And so the question now is, where are we uh, and what is the situation? In addition to the fact that this involves actually Sandy relief money, and the, the other question is a financial one. Where do we stand with the financial situation with the city and its recovery and being able to protect itself from the next hurricane? What I feel um, kind of kind of melancholy about is that you know Hoboken has been in the news probably far too much. And this is just another drama that I don't think our community needs as it's been trying to get itself back after Hurricane Sandy. And, um, you know, that's something we need to all work together to try to resolve and continue to build our community back. Thank you so much for watching. For more programming, please go to HudsonCountyTV.com. I'm Fernando Uribe, coming to you from Hoboken. And as always, stay classy, everyone.